Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. Gorgeous, sunny. Let's see if I don't blind you. Bright, bright. And Moses just threw up in the kitchen. I cleaned it all up. Um, I'm having an early lunch. Uh, I don't know how early it is. I've been up since crack of dawn and it's quarter to 12. Um, I have, I had a really early meeting this morning. Actually, I have them all week. And then I have to go in the office on Friday. And actually, because I have to go into the office on Friday and they're doing some data backup for me, um, I have a couple of hours to kill while I'm going to be in the neighborhood of my office or one of the offices. So I think there's some shops in the area. So I'm going to um, do a, a Google search before I head out and I'll bring my camera with me. Maybe do a little bit of shopping. I have a bunch of gift cards to use. Anyway, so this is my lunch. It's meat. Well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to yell. It's meatless Monday. So I have um, mushroom morning star burgers, um, some leftover cucumber and um, uh, cubanelle pepper salad, uh, the leftovers of my wakami salad from last week, and some microwave uh, french fries. And there's a um, dipping sauce of horseradish and light mayo. So that's my um, hearty br uh, breakfast, well, hearty lunch, because I miss breakfast. I did have a coffee, because here's my coffee cup, actually. I have to bring it back in the kitchen. And I have my camera so I could take some pictures for my blog. I always like to share Meatless Monday meals because I often get questions on what I eat on Mondays or what we eat on Mondays. So, um, and I have a, oh, my voice is going. I have my um, cherry, black cherry essence uh, Poland Springs seltzer. There were four eggs this morning three brown and a green, no broken ones. Thank goodness no broken ones yesterday, no broken ones on Saturday. So three days straight, no broken ones. I think the, the finicky hen is just was trying to tell us that it wasn't, the uh, shavings weren't thick enough. See, the last time, ordinarily, I'm the one who changes, who cleans out the litter box, the litter box, the coop, and I put on, especially during the winter, a thicker layer of fresh shavings. They really like that. They, they snuggle together. They, you know, it's where they lay their <clears throat> their eggs in the uh, in the nests. Uh, but what uh, Polly did the clean out the last time, and he must have put on a thinner layer. So. It was since that clean out that we were getting the broken eggs. So now that there's a nice uh, thicker layer of um, shavings, fresh shavings, they're much happier. Plus we've been giving them a lot of trimmings from the kitchen. You know, I gave them all the, this morning they got all the peelings from the cucumber salad from yesterday. And actually this was the topping of the wedge salad that we had last night. And Polly cooked yesterday so we had a surf and turf for dinner and I'm sorry I totally spaced and didn't take pictures like I said in yesterday's vlog or the vlog that posted on Monday morning um, it was I had a busy Sunday and there was a lot of things I needed to get accomplished and sometimes having the camera with me is a bit of a setback so I just I have to balance um, the fact that I need to get something done versus sharing what I'm doing so so I'm gonna have my lunch um, I may not eat all of this, so I may just pop the rest of it in the fridge. I think, um, to be honest, I'm probably gonna start with the fries. I'm not a huge fan of fries, but I think because they're hot, it's one of the things I won't keep. So I'll take some pictures, enjoy my uh, lunch. Then I have a couple of reports that I have to hit off at noon, so I have about 15 minutes to do to have lunch. And then I did get started on the cards, so I have the card bases all created. And I think the first ones I'm going to make is the Valentine's ones. Um, a a um, update on Polly. He is um, at the surgeon's office right now. It's not his gallbladder. It's apparently his um, appendix. And um, he's he went to turn in his paperwork. And I think he has an appointment on Wednesday morning to meet with a surgeon to go over the ultrasound. It if the appendix is inflamed enough where it has to be removed, he's gonna have he's gonna need to have the surgery. Otherwise, <clears throat> they'll keep an eye on it. Um, he's obviously in discomfort and in pain because they gave him pain medication. I personally don't like taking pain medication. I don't know m many people who. Well, I guess there are some people who 
do like it. I just, I don't. I don't even, don't even like taking aspirin. If I have a headache, I try to do as many natural things to get rid of it as possible. Anyway, so um, that's the um, update on Polly. And so I gave you the chickens update, um, Polly update. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for now. So I'm going to um, eat lunch. And then during the next meeting, I'll put a dent into the cards and I'll share with you along the way kind of what I do. I figured I would do the Valentine's ones first because they're going to be the ones that are the most fun to do. Because I I, I don't... The, then I have to make two sympathy cards, which I really like... <sighs> it's not that my heart's not in it. It's just it's always difficult to make that. So... Um, I will share that with you once they're done. So, um, okay, lunch. Extreme close-up. Well, I'm back. <clears throat> and I had to take a break, take a little nap. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling all that great, so I just went and laid down. And while I was... I wasn't really sleeping, sleeping. Well, maybe I did sleep, but, um package arrived and it's the order that I placed with joanne.com this is a 12 by 12 three drawer sterilite unit that has let's see if I can pull back a little pull drawers and let me put the unit um, out of frame and I'll show you what I'm going to use it for as well as what else I ordered that's only available online unfortunately Alrighty, so I've pulled out one of the drawers, and all you have to do is pinch the sides, when you slide, pinch the sides, because there's stoppers right here. And this is what uh, uh, the other items that I had in my order. It's a plastic ring standard, and let's see if I, I think I, think I opened it on the inside. It's just a, um, I have those free plastic where you slip your finger in, but I didn't have a way of telling what size. And this is an easier way to tell. Let me see if I can grab my ring. It's an easier way to tell what size something is because then it goes down to the, down the barrel. So this is helpful not only sizing the rings, but also making the rings. Uh, so if you're making a wrapped um, wire ring, this is an easy way to do it. Um, I was hoping it was going to have little grooves at each, I think there's quarter and half marks, but it's okay. Um, I think it was, don't quote me, but I think it was a, a $2, so relatively inexpensive, and it was something that I had been eyeing, and specialty shops had it for a lot more money, and then I also picked up this ring display, and I'm really happy with this because... As it turns out, it's a black velvet ring display. It's actually weighted, so it um, sits pretty nicely. So you can photograph things. So um, that was, oh, I wish I knew. I, unfortunately, invoices from Joann's only have the um, item numbers and the description, but not how much you paid for them. And these two items are the Sidekick plates and that's my dirty little secret. You know all those dies that I end up using, the smaller dies? I use my Sidekick, which actually Dawn sent me, and I use that for pretty much anything that will fit on these plates because it's so easy. I just, you know, it sits right next to my desk, and the plates that I had, I was seeing, well, I'll show you what the plates look like. They're well-worn, uh, loved. So I felt it was time. I have one that I use as the base and one as the top, which gets cut into. And it's getting pretty marred up and it was starting to transfer the cut marks into paper. So I think there were $2.39 each. And unfortunately, these are not available anywhere in any of the stores because the, side, the Sidekick is an older product. But when they have the 40 or 50% off 2007. Um, 40 or 50% off, typically 50 on joanne.com off of their die cutting supplies, you know, the accessories, machines, all of that. Um, that's when I stock up on plates 
because it's really like the most afford uh, affordable way to pick up a few plates. So for less than $5, if I think of it, I'll look at my invoice and I'll include in the description um, how much each of these items are. I feel bad not mentioning how much they are. And the sale is still on. So I, I picked up a, a couple more plates. And then the last thing I picked up is this jewelry bead, bead tray from Beadalon and the base, which you see right on the periphery, um, you can snap off and it, you can use it as a cover, which I thought was very useful, particularly since I have a wayward cat that likes to steal things. Plus you end up like knocking things over and I rarely finish a project, particularly a jewelry project, start to finish in one sitting. So I picked this up and this was, okay, I'm not even gonna guess anymore. It, it was a percentage off, so I'll look it up and I'll put how much it is in the description. So the reason I picked up this drawer unit, I know you guys have seen my uh, little Dollar Tree storage containers. Well, I'll check this out. Oh, they don't fit this way, but they do fit this way, which is fine. And I can store all of my little embellishments, get them off my desk that I keep knocking over with my elbows, and get them all organized. Um, I could put it down this way, but I would get fewer in. They're not quite deep enough to go too high, but you can, if you put them on the side, you know, they're still within. So let's see, how many can I fit? All right, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, and two, four, five. Wow, I can get a lot of these in, and I know I have um, a whole bunch of empty ones. I can organize my embellishments from Wild Record Craft, all these little um, metal embellishments that you want to, that I'd want to keep together. So that's what I'm going to use this unit for. It is by far the most productive way for me to keep these because keeping them on my desk absolutely does not work. And I'll be able to free up some space. I can also keep inks in a drawer if I want to, although I have an idea of what to do with my inks. I think somewhere in my office is a box of mixed tapes. I just totally dated myself, but that's okay. Mixed tapes, for those of you who know what tapes are, you know, like audio tapes, the stuff you used to pop into a cassette player, <laughs> um, that were in um, wall-mountable black units. I think they're the same width. I think it's a cassette tape is pretty darn close to the same width as some of these inks. Let me see if I can grab one without knocking anything over. It's like my stays on inks. I think they're the same width as a cassette play, uh, as a cassette tape. So I could put them in well this way. I would just have to change a label from the long way to the wide uh, section and store them that way. And I have um, the wall right on this side of my, my desk sits like this, for if you, because oh, I don't want to change the angle of the camera right now. So um, this is the corner and my desk is right here. And I have both walls that don't have anything on them. And then I have windows on, um, on, on either side as well. So I could totally use the vertical space because that would be brilliant to have all my inks at an eye, you know, at a glance. So I can see which inks are there. So I'm going to, that's going to be my future project uh, sometime in the near future. So this is what I got the storage unit for. It came well uh, bubbled, but the box had one piece of tape on it. My husband looked at it and went, mm, whatever's inside, is it intact? I said, I don't know, let's open it up and look. So there was nothing broken, which was a pleasant surprise. I don't know if these stack one on top of the other, but it looks like the bottom does have possibility for holes for wheels, but I'm not sure if I really need wheels. I'm gonna see if, where I can find the place to put this, because it would be ideal to keep it within reach. 
So now that I've shared that with you, I did start some cards. Let me show you. Valentine's cards, but I will have to share them with you probably tomorrow because I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to go and catch uh, some of the Olympics that are playing on primetime. Otherwise, don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.